Okay, next video instalment is a uh, Mandalorian uh, upper thigh armor. This is uh, this is one of two plates that overlap each other. The other one being slightly bigger, and obviously not really obviously, but it's going to be a different color. But what we're going to be trying today is Alcad Two Copper. Check out my lovely thumbnail. Okay. So what we're going to do is try and use this lip to pour it because this stuff is it's like water. And it will make a mess. I've got my uh, <clears throat> regulation armor stand behind it there. It's a white spirit, I believe they call it, available in all, all good DIY stores. Let's hit this. Now, just doing a real light first pass in them hard to reach areas. Now, I believe this is the same as the chrome, you just want to a real fine layer. Maybe you haven't used the chrome, but I start infilling, and then what I do afterwards, I'm going to break the rules slightly. I'm going to do the edges last, as a, ordinarily I would do the edges first, but I'm sure you don't want to sit here for 20 minutes watching me turn it around in circles. This is real easy airbrush work. This doesn't take any major training. It may take a, a wee while to get used to the, the trigger. But, so let's get that edge there. Now this is like true copper. If you're looking to steampunk, I'd say this is the best route to go. If you haven't got an airbrush, you can get little airbrush kits for like 60 or 70 quid with a compressor off of eBay. But I'd make sure it's got, you know, I wouldn't get one of them really rubbish little tiddly ones if you're going to do it to get the best quality. You need something fairly decent. Not one of them ones with a balloon on the end okay so I'm left handed so I'm just trying to get that right hand side you, know, you can start off there brushing like this and move on to the more advanced stuff but if you're looking to do high detail, it might take you a bit more time and skill. But with depth and shading, or if you want to do uh, make it look distressed and dirty, this is definitely the way to go. Same way I did my clone trooper. And that come out really well. And the shop trooper actually. So this is just real light passes. But I think you can see how good this chrome is. So I'm not putting it on too thick because I want that gloss black underneath just to shine through slightly. So it gives it like an old age chrome look. It's not too new and shiny. Oh, I say not too new and shiny on the camera there, it looks real shiny. As you can see, this Alcad 2 is amazing stuff. They do like stainless steel, brushed aluminium. <clears throat> yeah. If you look them up, you'll see all the different types that you can get. 
and the end finish is pretty good. I'm most impressed with their chrome, which I'm using at the moment. So this is okay. So that's the effect I'm after. You can't really see the depth of the black on here, but I have left it under. Under my eyes it looks right, in the camera it looks really shiny because it's just catching the light. But, when you start mixing the bronzes and the chromes, as you can see, leaving that black just in there slightly, Gives you that real dirty look. So if you're looking to do any bronze, chrome, a bit of steampunk, I'd suggest this is the route to go, especially with the airbrush because the paint goes on super thin. And with the chrome you don't need any lacquers because if you've tried lacquer and chrome you'll know it just turns grey. That doesn't work. Um, I gonna have to be a little bit ginger with it when it comes to knocks and bangs and stuff but that's all part of the distressed look I believe so I don't mind there's gonna be some nicks and scratches and bangs anyway <clears throat> hope this was educational for you and uh, I'll see you on the other side